Welcome back to the latest Baby Pips Forex Education video series. So we are in the elementary school, grade four, talking about everything related to moving averages. So in the last video, we talked about the differences between the simple moving average and the exponential moving averages. Now what we're going to be doing is looking at how we can use moving averages to define and to find a trend and then later on we then start looking into how we can use it to enter trades so in this particular series it talks about the two different ways to kind of define a trend and what we're going to do we're going to head over to trading view and i'm going to walk you guys through on how to do this so we have got the usd gbp one hour chart and I have an exponential 100 day uh, moving average. So in this in the tutorial, it talked about the first way to define a trend put very simply is if price is above, if price is above the moving average, we are in an uptrend. And then secondly, if price is below the moving average we are in a downtrend now this is great when you do top down analysis from weekly monthly daily if all those three time frames align that the price is below that um moving average in this case a 100 day moving average <clears throat> that then would give you a good indication on shorter term time frames to look for sell uh, signals and sell orders. I do have my very own OGT trend dashboard indicator, which I'll link to down below in the top right -hand corner, which is a multiple time frame moving average pictorial uh, view for trading view and for MT4. So you guys can check that one out uh, as well. So, but put very simply, if we're above, uh, we are in an uptrend, and if we're below, we are in the downtrend. Now, the second way uh, Baby Pips defines it and, and how you can potentially stay in trades longer is by using two moving averages, where one moving average is considered a fast moving average and one moving average is considered a slow moving average. And what you'll see is I've just added on the 50 EMA. <clears throat> So the smaller number is my fast moving average. As you can see, it reacts to price a lot more quicker um, because it's uh, lower in periods and closer to price than the 100 EMA, which takes a larger data set. So it takes longer for the moving average to react to price. So if we actually go back for a second here um, and I hide the 50 day, there are some instances here that you'll see where you could argue we are by definition prices underneath the moving average. So we are in a downtrend. However, would let's say you were long on the US pound and you had these scenarios here, would this be the right time to get out of the trade, start taking profits, etc.? And this is, again, where you can use a fast moving average to help you here. So if I overlay that and what the tutorial talks about is if the fast EMA is above the slow EMA, we are in an uptrend. So even though price drops below the uh, long term 100 EMA, you can see that the short term or faster EMA, uh, in this case, the uh, 50 um, is actually still above. So you would still be in this trade uh, or it might be a, an opportunity to start taking profits on the table and keeping some of your position size. Exactly the same over here and over here as well, that price dips below the 100 EMA, but the 50 EMA stays above. We got close to the uh, EMA dropping below, but it stays above the 100 EMA. And therefore, you know, eventually you get out of this trade around, where's it gone here? If I got my paintbrush, um, around this level over here. So if you think about it, if you just relied on one 
um, moving average, you you would have potentially got out of this trade. Let's say you got in at the best possible point over here. You would have made, uh, let's, let's just say you got in here um, and you got out here. You know, you would have made, <clears throat> you would have made, you know, 0.88% return there. But if you go all the way across here and you decided to stay in, and let's say you got in here all the way up to around this level here, or even at the low here, again, you've doubled that to 1.96. So again, you can see here of what the benefit is using two moving averages to smooth out kind of price action for the ebbs and the flows and utilizing a short term moving average um, until it crosses um you don't exit out the trade and this follows on nicely to the next video where we look at how to enter trades using the moving average crossover strategy which is probably the most famous or infamous um trading strategy uh, as part of this baby pip series so i hope you like this video like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video